In today's video, we're diving into something essential for anyone building a brand online. How to create a custom email using your domain with Hostinger. Whether you're running a business, a blog, or you just want to have a professional looking email address that matches your domain, this video is going to show you exactly how to do it. Having a custom email address isn't just about looking good. It's about creating a consistent and professional brand image. Imagine sending emails from you at yourdomain.com instead of a generic Gmail or Yahoo account. It not only enhances your credibility, but also helps you stand out from the crowd. Plus, setting it up is super easy and I'll be guiding you through every step of the way. If you don't already have a hosting your account, then you can go ahead and click the link down in the description, which will bring you to this page right here where you can get the best pricing possible for Hostinger. Once you're on this page, just go ahead, click on start now and you can choose from one of Hostinger's three different plans. There's the premium, the business, and the cloud startup plan. But for most of you watching this, the premium plan is probably more than enough to get started with. So to get started with this plan, just click on choose plan, but we're not done yet getting you the best pricing with Hostinger. First, just select the term that you want to commit to one month, 12 months, 24 months, or 48 months. For this example, we'll just choose 12 months. And the last thing you want to do is come on down here to the coupon code area and type in my first website, hit enter. And for only $32.29, you're going to get a full year of hosting with Hostinger, which is just an incredible deal. Now, Hostinger also has a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can go ahead, try it out, see if it's right for you and make your decision within the first 30 days. Link down in the description to get started with Hostinger. And don't forget to use code MYFIRSTWEBSITE at checkout. All right, now let's get started with the setup. First thing that you'll need to do is log into your brand new Hostinger account. Once logged in, you'll land on your dashboard. And this is where you can manage all your domains, hosting plans, as well as all the other settings. Okay, so once you are logged in to your Hostinger account in the H panel, we're gonna scroll down here to the email section and click on manage. Now, as we can see, the email plan that we're on is the Hostinger free, which comes with all three of the hosting your plans. From here, what we want to do is click on create account. So for this, we'll go ahead and call this test at myfirstwebsite1.com. And for a password, we'll go ahead and choose a secure password and click create. Then it's going to ask if you want to configure apps or devices. For now, we'll go ahead and just hit skip. And to go inside of the email address and to send and receive emails, we're going to click on this little button right here. It's going to ask you to log in and then we'll go ahead and just enter our new email address and our password that we just created and click log in. Now, this is where we can go ahead and send emails as well as receive emails. So here we have our inbox. So this is where all of your incoming messages will come from. And here we go. We can see that we have an email from Hostinger on getting started with business email. Okay. So once you have created your new Hostinger email address, the first thing we're going to do is just show you how to compose an email. So to do that, just come up here to the top left and click on compose. Here you can select your address that you'll be sending from, which as we can see, this is the new Hostinger domain email address that we just created. And this is where you can go ahead and click on where you're going to send your email. We have the subject line here, as well as all of these different formatting options here to send our email. Over here on the right hand side is where you can go ahead and attach files. And as you can see right here, we have a 34 megabyte file size limit. Here we can go ahead and change the priority of our email, whether it is lowest, low, normal, high, or highest. And we can also select where we want to save our sent messages in, whether that's the sent folder, the drafts, junk, trash, or inbox, or we could choose to not save it. Down here on the bottom left-hand corner, we can see how much storage we have here. As you can see, each of these free email plans comes with one gigabyte of storage, and we've used 0% of that. Okay, now let's take a quick look at some of the settings inside of the Hostinger email account. So we'll go ahead and click on settings here, and we have a couple of different areas that we can take a look at. Let's go ahead and start with preferences. So under user interface, we have a couple of different options here. We can set our time zone, our time format, our date format. We can also choose from different interfaces face skin. So we can choose the Gmail plus option, the hosting or webmail or the Outlook plus. Next, let's take a look at mailbox view. So here we can go ahead and choose some different options here so that we have the option to mark messages as read either immediately after five seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds or 30 seconds, depending on your preferences. Here we have the ability to expand message threads, either never all threads or only with unread messages. And we can also choose the rows per page. So here you can type in however many rows you'd like. Under the new message, we can check all folders for new messages. So so if you created folders within your inbox and you check this on, it'll go ahead and select new messages and show new messages from all folders. Now make sure to go ahead and save any settings that you change here by clicking that blue save button. Next, we'll go to displaying messages. Here we have some different options where we can open the message in a new window. We can show email address with display name, display HTML, allow remote sources. On request for return receipt, we can either choose to ask me, send receipt, send receipt to my contacts, otherwise ask me, as well as a few other options here. There's also some more advanced options 
options here and we'll go ahead and click save before moving on here under composing messages we have a couple of different options to choose from we can compose in a new window we can compose HTML messages we can automatically save draft either every five minutes every one minute three minute ten minutes or never now coming down here to the signature options this is another way just to create a professional cohesiveness around your brand so here we can choose to automatically add signature always never new messages only or replies and forwards only here we have the option to place signature below the quoted message we'll go ahead and turn that on and then when replying remove original signature from message we'll turn that on and we'll force standard separator in signatures we'll leave that on as well and we'll go ahead and hit save so now that your email is set up and ready to go you want to make sure that it's easy to access and one of the best ways to do this is by bookmarking the webmail page in your browser just click the star icon in the address bar and it'll save the page to your bookmarks this way you can quickly access your inbox without having to navigate through the H panel every time now hosting it really makes it easy to set up a custom email and it's a step that can significantly enhance your brand's professionalism and credibility if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips and tutorials on building and growing your online presence. Also, if you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to drop some comments down below. And one last thing, if you're interested in setting up a custom email with Hostinger or exploring their other services, I left a special link in the description for some exclusive discounts like we went over at the beginning of this video. These links are affiliate links, so if you do end up using them, we do earn a small commission at no extra cost to you, and you're gonna get the best pricing possible by using those links. So if you do end up using them, we thank you so much in advance. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.